Fugitive spy Edward Snowden has finally decided on a new home not far from the Moscow airport where he's currently hiding. Snowden now says he wants asylum in Russia and will agree to stop spilling American secrets if he's allowed to stay. But considering all the new pressure from the White House, that's a pretty big if. ABC's Kira Radia has more from Moscow. Good morning. After nearly three weeks hiding here at the Moscow airport, Edward Snowden has finally surfaced. But what he's asking for threatens to derail U.S.-Russia relations. A little over one month ago, I had a family, a home in paradise, and I lived in great comfort. That is the first we've seen and heard directly from Edward Snowden since he leaked some of America's most sensitive intelligence secrets. I also have the capability, without any warrant of law, to search for, seize, and read your communication. At a mysterious meeting with human rights activists in the Moscow airport on Friday, Snowden announced he'll seek asylum in Russia. Why Russia? He doesn't think he has safe passage to asylum offers in Latin America. There are no direct flights from Moscow to Venezuela, Bolivia, or Nicaragua. And the United States is urging countries along his route to turn Snowden over. You cannot stay here indefinitely. There has to be some kind of a solution. And that's what makes him ask Russia for an asylum. Snowden has been stuck at the airport for nearly three weeks. Something he joked about when he was interrupted by one of the airport's frequent announcements. I've heard this many times over the last weeks. Russian President Vladimir Putin has previously said that Snowden can stay, but only on one condition, that he stop harming the United States. The White House is warning Russia not to harbor Snowden. Mr. Snowden is not a human rights activist or a dissident. He is accused of leaking classified information. President Obama himself raised the Snowden situation with President Putin in a phone call Friday night. The two leaders will hold a summit in Moscow in just six weeks. U.S. officials have signaled that if Snowden is still here, Obama may not come. There's no saying how much longer Snowden will remain stuck here at the airport, but he's made two things clear. He can't stay forever and that the ball is in Vladimir Putin's court. Dan and Paula? All right, Kira, thank you.